Well, I think uh, the most important uh, message to investors is really the transformation which began in 2014, really. We are known in the market effectively as a TV brand, uh, but effectively we are much more than that. We own and operate three pay TV channels under the brand of For Fun TV. But three years ago, at the beginning of the transformation, we utilized those skills that we had in terms of scheduling content uh, digitally uh, through people's TV screens, but we used that information, that technology and that ability to uh, engage with the digital out-of-home market. So we acquired uh, a small digital out-of-home business three, four years ago. We are now the leaders in digital out-of-home with over 20,000 screens across Poland, ranging from uh, in-store screens to the very large format screens outside of Tesco's 50 plus meter square screens. In addition to that, we also uh, used our knowledge of the, and dependency on the advertising world to create our own uh, advertising agency with Rafael Barron, the CEO of the company. You know, his knowledge and insight into the, into the advertising world has enabled us to build a very substantial client base, uh, clients including T-Mobile, including Showmax, including Nivea, all of which are uh, uh, well-known international brands. In 2017, part of our strategy was then to develop an international presence, so we acquired uh, FC, FCB Warszawa, part of the IPG group uh, with over 38 offices in uh, 38 different countries. So we used, used that ability to in, embolden our ability to offer marketing services to larger clients. So we have the For Fun TV, we have digital out of home business, and we have a hybrid uh, award-winning, I would say, advertising agency. And just recently, uh, we have now engaged into the e-commerce uh, world. Uh, the reality is that for us, we, in with our For Fun brand, we have over 1 million Facebook fans, we have over 300,000 users of our For Fun application. And just recently, we launched um, a chatbot, which is growing every month. So we now have, I think, but up to 30,000 uh, users of this. So this data, this rich database of customers which we have, we are now effectively tailoring e-commerce uh, platforms towards that audience. So using our knowledge of brand, using our knowledge of uh, this customer base, we are tailoring, for example, the first one we have is a company called Cupcell. Cupcell predominantly is a leader of print on demand, so it can print t-shirts, it can print cups, it can print almost anything as long as it's um, stationary. And this we see as, a, as an opportunity for us to develop into a new sector. So combining print on demand, e-commerce and our own strengths of brand and customer base. So that's really the, the change, the transformation we've gone through from 2014 to 2017. And now we're developing each of those parts of the businesses through into 2018 and beyond. The results really for the e-commerce will probably take some time to, to impact. But I think uh, end of Q4, uh, 2018, possibly into Q2, uh, Q1, 2019, that's where we'll start to see the benefit. But like, like digital out of home, it took us three years to bring a business from 2 million zlotys of turnover to 15 million zlotys of turnover with a net contribution now of nearly 4 million EBDA. So in that time scale to have almost 300% increase in revenues, we would like to replicate that in uh, other sectors. We'd like to do that, but you know, whether we will achieve that or not is not, not known yet. So.